On what are you leaning? Trust in the Lord with all your heart, and lean not on your understanding. In all your ways acknowledge Him, and He will make your path straight. Proverbs 35-6 The leaning tower of Pisa is unstable. When people first see the structure, they are amazed that it is still standing. An enormous amount of careful engineering has been necessary to preserve this iconic structure that attracts tourists from all over the world. It is a massive money earner for Italy, but it is not what the architect intended it was meant to be, upright. It leans because the ground on which it was built is too soft. On one side of the structure it is quite literally leaning according to its own understanding of weight, pressure. If the ground on which we build our lives is not firm, then we too will lean according to our own understanding and go our own way. It is absolutely vital that we follow the advice of our scripture for today and trust in the Lord. Only He knows everything about us and our circumstances, and only He is able to direct our steps according to His plans and purposes for our lives. This is how our devotional journey should begin, by humbling ourselves and choosing to trust that God's word and his teaching are more important and much more reliable than our own ideas and inclinations. When we begin to trust our own understanding without reference to the God who made us, who made and love us, it will be as if the ground beneath our feet begins to shift. Before long, our lives will become unstable. They will no longer be upright. That is why there are so are such extremes of ungodliness in society, and such as the cost of propping up the leaning tower of Pisa has been extensive, so is the personal and societal cost when people ignore God's word and follow their own inclinations. Trying to correct lives that have gone off course without God is a never-ending, never-succeeding roundabout of human effort without godly gain. To trust in the Lord means to depend on Him totally and not on our own seemingly good but ungodly ideas. Our scripture stresses that we should trust Him with all our hearts, not just a religious bit, that we are happy for Him to have provided we can keep hold of the rest. Some of the kings of Israel and Judah were less than wholehearted in their service to the Lord, and as a result, their lives and reigns did not end well. And God's promises to those who do who do trust Him wholeheartedly, meaning with all of their hearts, are many and wonderful, including this one that He will help us continue in a good and right direction. Or, as I learned it in the King James Version, He shall direct thy paths. Many are the times when I have sensed God bringing correction into my life so that the path I am walking on will remain straight. And many are the times when I have sensed him directing my paths 
so that I may know his will for the next stage of my life. I am grateful to God for his wisdom. It is beyond human understanding. Help me, Lord, to trust you at all times and to look for your clear direction in my life. I pray that you will direct my steps so that the paths I walk on will be those who have prepared for me in Jesus' name. Amen.